Whether you like it or not, some things become part of our daily life during the winter months. One such thing that we all have to face regularly during these time is fog. Sometimes, some people use the term mist and fog interchangeably. But they are two different things. Do you know what are mist and fog? How do they form and how are they different from each other? We are going to know more about this in this video of Casually Explained series. If you have already watched our video on 5 steps of rain formation, then you must be aware of the fact that when water vapor present in the air cools down on the numerous floating microscopic particles, the formation of cloud takes place. The fog is nothing but a cloud formed on the surface of the earth. Actually, when the sunlight falls on the surface of the earth, the earth starts getting warmer and due to this, the air in the contact with the earth's surface also starts getting warmer. This layer of warm air starts warming the next layer above it and this process continues. At night times, the warmth of the earth is released via radiation which cools down the earth and subsequently the air also cools down. Clear skies, stagnant wind and low temperature during winters quickly cool down the wind near the earth's surface. But the air above this layer takes a long time to cool down and this leads to a creation of a condition known as temperature inversion. Whenever such condition takes place, the water vapor present in the air condenses and forms fog. This type of fog is known as radiation fog. The fog formed in our cities and rural areas is nothing but radiation fog. It takes really long time to disappear and if there is no wind, that it can persist throughout the day. Apart from this type of fog, there is another type known as advection fog. Actually, when warm and moist air reaches a cooler place, then the water vapor from warm air cools down and the formation of advection fog takes place. Such fog is formed by meeting of warm and cold ocean currents. The fog formed by meeting of Kuroshiho and Oyashiho currents near Japan is the best example of this fog. Now let's talk about the mist. Mist is bluish grey in appearance. Actually, it is a type of fog that is not as dense as fog. It is really hard to see beyond 1 km during the fog, but the visibility during the mist is around 1 to 2 km. Whenever the tiny droplets suspended in the fog condenses on any surface, they are known as dew. The water droplets on the grass during the winter mornings are nothing but dew. The phenomenon of dew is not limited to winters only. Actually, whenever water vapor condenses on any surface, it is known as dew. The water droplets on the bottle which you just took out from the fridge is one such example. But if the temperature is very low, these droplets can solidify into ice particles. These frozen ice particles are known as frost. So this was the whole story behind fog, mist, dew and frost. Apart from these words, you must have also heard about smog, vogue and haze. What are they? You can know more about them in this video. To watch more interesting and entertaining videos, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon.